Warning, this content is not for kids. If you're a kid, fuck off. Happy New Year, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. The wee fat Alan. Look how much weight he's put on since he's had his balls. His balls taken. His camouflage jacket tank. Like the one with the hood, the fluffy hood. Doesn't fit him anymore. It's far too tight. It doesn't go around his barrel chest. Eh? You're built like 1940s Superman. What did you guys get up to? For the new year. You want to know why I did? <laughs> so we went to the Salty Dog for Hugman eh? We had free drinks in the house. I can't actually, I'm not even kidding you, I can't actually remember leaving the house. So I was blackout drunk by then. The next day I checked to see what the alcohol content was left. Nearly a whole bottle of rum to myself. That's why I was blackout drunk. And I have just flashes of memory. <laughs> In the pub, I was arguing with a boy because he wouldn't stop picking Alan up because it was a dog friendly pub so Alan came. It's called the Salty Dog. Dundee's number one gay bar. But there wasn't any gays. <laughs> well, except the King Gay, Ross, he's the manager and DJ. He's one of my favourite people on the planet. Honestly, this guy is fantastic. You need to see him to believe him. He's brilliant. His dress sense is fantastic. <laughs> anyway, so I don't remember leaving the pub, but I was told that I went to the toilet, I come back, I put 10 quid in everybody's pocket, and then uh, just headed without saying a word. And then the next thing I remember after that, I was waking up in the middle of the road. <laughs> I was lying flat on my back, and I mean, in the road. I've no idea if I decked it, or if I just gave up and went to sleep. But I still had Alan's lead in my hand, with Alan on the other end of it. I think I fell in the bath when I got in as well, because my jacket was dirty from lying in the road, and there's a, there was a shape, a dirt shape of me <laughs> in the bath. <laughs> the last time I was blackout drunk was probably when I first started drinking and I didn't know my limits. I started drinking when I was 25. Can you believe that? A Scotsman didn't have his first drink until he was 25. The reason that I never had a drink until I was 25 was because my dad was a drinker and it just didn't look cool. But when he died, yeah, well, go into the going to my dad's death another time. Maybe a second of him dying, as soon as his lights were out. I just had this overwhelming urge to have a drink. So on the way home from the hospital, I nipped into the shop and I got four cans of Tenant's Lager, because that's what my dad drunk. So I thought I'd have a wee, a wee drink in remembrance of my dad's sessions and I was hammered. Four beers got me buckled. And then, as you know, I just haven't looked back. <laughs> eh? Beer makes me smart. She's got a face like thunder. I wonder what I've done this time. I won't break no longer. That skinny bitch weighs a lot on my mind. She's got a face like thunder I wonder what I've done this time I won't break no longer That skinny bitch, that skinny bitch, that skinny bitch Weighs a lot on my mind It ain't so
home for tonight boys and girls I love that chair the rain stopped that's just the the leftovers dripping off the branches here's a top tip for you your warm kit well my warm kit got it on the back of the chair so I'm going to use my body heat when I sit in there to keep this jacket warm so when it gets cold I can put it on and it'll be already toasty yeah yeah It's been a minute since I last wore this because I just found this root card in my pocket. <laughs> These boys and girls, well, I'll quickly talk you through it. So leg, that's stage. So stage one or alpha from that location to that location on that bearing that distance, that ground and remarks. So that's the terrain and remarks like, it's bloody awful, it's too swampy. Alan was a bit of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> root out, root back. These things, you should uh, leave copies of these. So if you're going up the mountains, there's boxes, there's usually wee boxes you could post a copy of these in. Uh, in case you need to phone the yellow helicopter if you get injured never phone the yellow helicopter <laughs> it's a minter so you could tell them I'm on leg bravo and I'm stuck at this exact location and uh, come and get me put them on your windshield or on your uh, or in one of those boxes But yeah, don't be phoning yellow helicopters because then you need to get a case of beer for the boys. <laughs> right, on me. While the rain's off, I'm just gonna leave all that. Nobody's stealing that. That's a good thing, we're not in we're not in Dundee. There's no Thieving bastards. <laughs> so, I'm just going to have a quick wee recce recce, do a perimeter check as always. I'm going to nip along to the, the other campsite, see if we've got any neighbours, any gas sniffing neighbours. Right, the last time we were here, that dugout had actually filled up with water. Look at it now. It's overflowing. It's no, it's no filled up. It's become a pool. Alan, don't, don't. Because I've only got a, a dish towel here. I can see there's a pool over there as well on that. This is brilliant, eh? Mother Nature's taking it back. Look at that one. <laughs> that one's massive. Holy shit, it's spreading all the way over there. That's brilliant. The toads and the frogs all love it. There's uh, tree frogs and toads. You might remember, long time viewers, when we were camping near the ice house 
<laughs> two toads humping, well one toad humping another toad because it was mating season <laughs> and there was another toad like maybe half a foot away just waiting for his turn <laughs> so I pinged off the humping toad and then moved the one that was jealous closer so he could have a go <laughs> Steve, if you're watching, I know you are. You won't be camping here for a while, mate. Look at this. That's bonkers. You got a stick. Alan's got a new pal named Bob. Bob's only 13 weeks old or something. He came up to the flat last night. <laughs> and the camera picking that up. There's the fire ring. Well, that fire is definitely out. Yeah, Bob came up last night to meet Alan. And Alan had to get him told a few times because Bob was testing his boundaries. Alan had a stick. It was maybe two meters long that he took home from the woods one day and he chewed it down to about that size I didn't even know the thing still uh, existed in the house I thought he had chewed it all up but Bob found it, Bob found all his stashes last night that's what I'm trying to tell you right anyway floods, floods, floods right Alan we've got... are you choking mate? no I'm being serious Is that your new stick? Are you taking that with you? Bring it then. What is it? He just started to roll. Oh, I can see it, look. A wee dead mouse. A wee field mouse. He started rolling his face in it. The last time he did that was when he found his very first deer jobby. Come on. Yeah. Do you know how dogs do that? Well, why they do that, I mean, I'm sure I've told you before. It's so they could, like when he rolls in a jobby, another animal's jobby, because they don't do it with dogs' jobbies. But he rolled in a deer jobby, and it was so he could tell the rest of the pack, look what I found, man, I found something cool. Look, I'm covered in it. But, he was only a puppy at the time, and I was his only other pack member, and I was with him. I'm like, dude, you don't need to be rolling in poop to show me where you've been. I'm with you. Hey, you didn't get in the sleeping bag that night, did you? That's all flooded. Is that some asshole's been... Chucking aerosols on a fire. The fucking have as well, look, that's all burnt. And it's full of gas. Nivea men protect and care. <laughs> and that's not for a Nivea man, that's for sure. It's for a Nivea woman. I've never been a good criminal, boys and girls. Every stupid thing I've ever did as a kid, I got caught instantly. Exploded aerosols. Like uh, there was a house in our street. When people moved out, there's another exploded aerosol. Like all the local kids thought, let's just smash the windows with bricks. And I didn't do it when they were doing it. But the one time I decided, ah, oh, there's still a... <laughs> it was before double glazing, that's how long ago it was. It was before double glazing was invented. All the single panes and you had like 16 different wee small glass panes in one window. There was one pane that was left in the whole house. And I thought, fuck it, man, I'll just smash that pane. Picked up a brick, aimed it, hit it first time, and then I walked, turned around and walked out the garden right into the hands of two policemen who were on the beat. <laughs> and they're like, where do you live, son? And I pointed to my house, which was just two doors down. <laughs> uh, and, and yeah, the, the aerosol cans. We had a bonfire in a fieldy bit in between my mate's house and another street. 
and I found an aerosol can of links or something and I thought fuck it let's see what happens when you chuck an aerosol on the on the bonfire threw it on the bonfire and then I got a tap on the shoulder <laughs> turned around and there was a fucking fireman. <laughs> the fire brigade had turned up to put the bonfire out. And he's like, where do you live, son? And then again, I'm like, just, just there, man. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a very good fucking criminal when I was a kid, that's for sure. So we found a rabbit hole. Camp's just right there. There's another one just on the other side of that ridge. So this might be a good place for the trail camera. And we set it on that tree right there pointing towards that hole. Hey, what do you think? You got another one, have ya? Got another one? Nah, yeah, that's no a hole there. That one is though. Mate, I think you're too fat to get down those holes now. A bit too fat. Fucking hell. I'm so glad I brought a bivvy bag. Eh? You get my sleeping bag soaking wet. He's been going sniffed aft. Eh? You catching the scent of everything. Do dogs? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's one. That one's not been used for a while. That's not been used for a while, mate. That might be an exit hole. Right, so when, like, you lose your sight and it heightens your other senses. Does his senses get heightened now that he's lost his balls? So you now got a super, even more super senses. Dude, get out the water. <laughs> Super smell. Are you wet enough? Bloody pest. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. You could be in the most remote place ever. You will always find tenants lager cans. These ones have been here a while. Look. The bright red teas have faded on them. So this is what I drink now instead of tenants. In fact, I replaced tenants with Budweiser. Budweiser's not that better. It might be better in America, but the British version's not very good. Know how they say Carlsberg? Probably the best lager in the world. Well, I found half a can sitting on a wall one time, and it was warm and tasted like piss. <laughs> in the winter, ticks go dormant, or they hide under the leaf litter, or they attach themselves to a host. Usually when they attach them, themselves to a host, like Alan, they'll drop off when their bladder, when their, <laughs> when their sack's full. But uh, in the winter, they'll stay on the host. And while I remember, how to navigate north and south when you're in the woods and it's overcast and there is no sun. You can do it by checking out the moss on the trees. The moss grows on the opposite side of the sun so you know which way north and south is. But in a dense forest like this, the moss grows all the way around the tree. So. Uh, you want to find a tree in the open. There's that hole that something comes in and out of. There's the trail cam. Kind of pointing right at the hole. So I'm going to leave some sausages here, here, here and here. Put one there. Put one there. Even be trail of sausages for, uh, for whoever comes up that hole. So that should be picking me up right 
now. Last one later. good please catch some wildlife man stir fry move move your ass move your ass chicken peppers noodles and a black bean sauce Boys and girls, I'll get back to you in a minute because I can't do that and this at the same time. It's a delicate operation. I fucking love that MSR pocket rocket. To. Did I actually remember the night vision goggles, Alan? I remember I had them. What are we wrecking? Stand to. brightnesses of the infrared light. That's pretty cool. It still reflects on the reflective. You know, once you shine off of something and then go to the darkness, you need to adjust it again. That's maximum. Right over there is where I put the trail camera. So where did the camp go? <laughs> where did the camp go? Over right there, right over there. There he is. These things are dodgy. Okay, I'm going to stand on you. weird wearing these because there's like a natural zoom everything appears closer at least there's no raining you taking a shit I don't have to pick that one up. Hey, eh, we're not on a public path. Just mark your territory, mate. Make sure the smell of that poop that's going to keep all the other animals away.
<laughs> of course he took a shit, eh? Where are you going? Don't leave me. Please don't leave me, I'm scared. That light works well, does it? We're in our beds. I've set up Alan's camera on a time lapse. Plugged the the, the external battery into it, so hopefully it lasts long enough for the the sun to come up. I'm just about to zip this door closed, get the head down, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Cute me man, why do they call you Fat Alan? <laughs> Right, I'm off to bed boys and girls, I'm off to bed. Night night, sweet dreams, love you. Well, we've just been rudely awoken, although it's 26 minutes past 10. Some dog just pinged that guy line, dropped her roof down. Was that the screen that was fuzzy or just my eyeballs? Anyway, Alan's away for the morning pee and we to get a brew on. Oh, I did not want to get up, man. I was having a great sleep. Can you smell that dug, can you? See that wet patch there? With steam coming off it. I knocked the jet boil over. Just as it was boiled. Put in the sleeping bag, in the sleeping bag case, and I pushed too far, and it slipped out my hand, and knocked that over. So take two on the brew. Don't do as I do. Of course it shuts up now that the camera's on. That dog. That's been non-stop for about ten minutes now. I must have just stopped to take a breath. Oh, fuck living with that, eh? Sounds like a big ain as well. Alan's bad enough when the doorbell goes, but nah, I wouldn't be putting up with that noise. Fuck that noise. Anyway, I'm having a brew. Cheers to you. If anybody asks, we weren't here. Shall we make a move then, brother? Going that way. Let's go. Let's go, Joe. Happy days. Well, maybe no quite. Hey, going home's the worst part of camping, is it? Well, oh, boys and girls, thanks for joining us, as always. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hitting the like button. 
and super big fat thanks to all you subscribers you beautiful humans I'll see you in the comments ta-ta